Goal set and then exceeded. A Chesapeake church wanted to give a local elementary school the tools necessary to succeed. So they hosted a fundraiser that garnered nearly $11,000. Center News Science Asia Tolliver was there for the celebratory check presentation. Asia, they got that money and it will go a long way. That's right. So the principal at Thurgood Marshall Elementary School says that this money will go towards computers that the kids need and other necessities. She says that the, the pastor, excuse me, at Bethany Baptist Church says they decided to adopt the school last summer. He says they heard about some of the basics the children were without and decided to step in and help. One by one, little feet marched into the auditorium of Thurgood Marshall Elementary School. The children were gathered for a very large surprise. We wanted to take the time to give something back to them. Harold Kaysen is a pastor with Bethany Baptist Church just up the street from the school. He says they decided to adopt the school after talking to the school principal, Karen Lopez, about the children's needs. She explained uh, to us that, that at the end of the day, some of the kids only eat when they come to school. Uh, that teachers are literally taking coats uh, and washing them because the kids are, are dirty. They, they don't have shoestrings in their shoes. Like, this is right here in Chesapeake. This is not in, in the inner city. It's, it's right here in Chesapeake. And so we said, what can we do? So they held a benefit concert last month with a goal of fundraising $10,000 for the school. But the community responded with even more than that. It really states how much uh, the church is going beyond the four walls. A check of nearly 11,000 was presented today in front of the children. Principal Lopez admits she got pretty emotional. It's just tears of joy and happy that, that my students and my teachers work really, really hard. Lopez says some of the money will go towards computers and Chromebooks for the children to take tests, and the rest will go towards what the teachers feel is most needed. After the check was presented, the children had one thing to say to Two, Mr. Kaysen. Pastor Kaysen says it was all worth it to think they maybe changed the course of some child's life forever. I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.